Good morning. Welcome to another episode of Old Men in Chairs. We're going to drop the politics for a little while and just enjoy some great music. This will be my sixth reaction to a Captain Beefheart song, but it's the first one that we actually have a live video of the band performing. The song, Nowadays a Woman's Gotta Hit a Man, was actually on the 1972 album Clear Spot. But this performance was about eight years later in 1980 in Paris. It's kind of rare to have live beef heart footage. There's not a lot of it around. But I think it's really important to see that the band really could rock out in person. They really could reproduce the magic of the magic band that you hear on the records. The recorded version of this song got a great horn section. Obviously, uh, they didn't bring the horn sec group along when they went to Paris and the European tour. So the other instruments have had to fill in a little bit. What's unique, I think, about this song, the beat. <laughs> it's a funky, funky, rockin' blues beat. We're gonna start off with the captain playing harmonica, and then there's a great guitar solo in here. But I just love the beat, the drums, the bass. It's a little easier to understand, perhaps, than some of the earlier music from Trout Mask. It's a more of a conventional sound, but still, it's the captain's version of conventional, so you know it's always going to be a little different. Ladies, help me on this one. Is that true? Does a woman gotta hit a man to let him know she's there? Sometimes. Did you hear that? Did you hear what was going on there? The, the bass guitar, the drums, then the Captain Harmonica, then the guitars are coming in. Funky, funky music here. To make him know she's there. We've got to give the crown to the captain as the greatest white blues singer ever. He's perfect. And I love the little hiccups, the growls, and the vocal ticks that make it sound so unique. Uh, he's not just singing out there. He's testifying. And he's telling you, women don't have to hit him to let him know they're there. He knows the women are there. You can ask any of his women, and they'll tell you, all of his women, they'll all tell you that he knows there ain't no other place to go. <laughs> it's kind of a nonsense song, but what a rhythm, what a beat, what a performance. They don't have to hit me to make me know it's there. None of my women have tears now. You can ask them about me, I swear. Ow! They'll tell you that's one man. Oh, yeah, that's a man. Yeah, I love about telling you this.
tight band. I mean, are you hearing this? Anyone that thinks that the Magic Band was not good musicians needs to see these types of live performances. It's got to change your mind. If you had an opinion about the Magic Band just being a bunch of random noises, just listen to a song like this. <laughs> tears in their eyes you could ask him about me i swear <laughs> god do i miss him what a unique talent and it should be pointed out this 1980 this is very near the end of his musical career he got fed up with music never made any money with his fantastic music and i think around 1983 uh, he packed it in and he became an artist and did oil paintings apparently those were quite well appreciated as well by certain people and his art is very valuable today i would love to have a captain beef original artwork but i don't suppose i could afford it just wanted to give you a touch of what the captain might have been live unfortunately one of the great regrets of my life i never saw the captain live i don't know i was never in the right place in the right time to see him i don't remember even him being anywhere near me or i would have gone i would have gone in a second one of those things that's just never meant to be. But we could appreciate these types of live performances, which prove beyond any doubt that this was a funky, funky band. And the captain knew what he was doing. And it was probably the greatest white blues singer ever. Your mileage may vary. <laughs> 